So in this video, we're going to be looking at a trifecta of distros. Nope, wait, I've already done that one. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a superfecta of distros. Now these are distros that I am excited about for 2019. This isn't meant to be like a top four list or a best of list or anything like that. These are just distros that I'm interested and excited about. So let's dive right into number one, Steam OS. Haven't heard much about this one for a while. Now the reason why I'm interested in this is because all of the work that Valve has done last year. Now admittedly, SteamOS hasn't really received a big update since August of last year. And at the time of this video, Steam Play is sort of supported in SteamOS. You have to make some config file change, or at least you used to. And the latest NVIDIA driver with SteamOS is version 3.8 something. So if you want to play Steam Play games that use Vulkan, it's going to be a little choppy. But despite all that, I'm hopeful that Valve is going to release some kind of update for SteamOS this year that updates all of the drivers and things, enables Steam Play by default, and whatever else they have planned to make the whole experience better. I think if SteamOS had Steam Play enabled and working out of the box when the Steam machines were released a couple years ago, it would have been way more successful. Next up is Solus, again. So last year I said Solus looked like it was going to have an ambitious year, and it did, for the wrong reasons. Ike, the founder of Solus, officially left the project, and this was a pretty big deal because not only was he the de facto leader, but he's also the primary developer on a lot of the internal tools. On the flip side of this bummer announcement, the Solus team released a blog on their website along with a podcast kind of explaining the whole situation. And then a month or two later, they released another blog that kind of set the stage for 2019. They're planning on finally releasing Solus 4 and doing a big update for Budgie and releasing Soul and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. To be honest, I kind of expected this to happen last year, but it's understandable why it didn't. Given that they officially announced all of it for this year, 2019 is looking to be a pretty darn exciting year for them. Next is KDE Neon. Now a lot of you longtime viewers of the channel might be surprised by this one. You probably already know that I have a very love-hate relationship with KDE and KDE Neon. I did a video a year or two ago about KDE being buggy, and then I did another video about KDE Neon. I've written articles on Medium about Caden Live and stuff, and the thing about KDE is I really like it. It's probably, no, not probably, actually, it is my favorite desktop environment, and truth be told, I like Qt over GTK. The problem that I have with KDE is that it's always so damn buggy. As you guys probably know if you saw my video about switching from KDE to GNOME last year, I tried KDE on OpenSUSE, but it was just buggy and it didn't work right. And that's been kind of my experience with KDE for pretty much ever. But anyways, for 2019, I'm planning a video to revisit KDE Neon. The KDE project in general is really cool because of the velocity that they maintain in developing, releasing features and things like that. The stability of everything is just incredible, and I think that that has a lot to do with KDE Neon. For example, with Kubuntu, there are a lot of applications that don't work. For example, Discover is practically useless on Kubuntu, but it works perfectly on KDE Neon. So either way, I'm really excited to see where KDE Neon goes this year. If you want a pure and honestly the best KDE experience, KDE Neon is what you're looking for. And last on the list is Mint Linux. Now correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't believe that I have ever talked about Mint Linux on this channel, like even in live streams. To be honest, I've sort of always considered Mint to be kind of a clone or just an inferior spin of Ubuntu. I noticed a lot of Linux YouTubers were covering Mint 19.1, so I went ahead and gave it a try and damn, I was impressed. Not only is the Cinnamon desktop really refined, polished, and customizable, but Mint actually provides a lot of really nice tools, especially for new users that are, well, new to Linux and I don't know how to do stuff, like tools to help you set up automated backups or automated updates or manage your PPAs and stuff. It's really, really cool stuff. And when I was testing it, I didn't run into a single bug or crash or anything. I was impressed. Now, the problem I see with Mint and the project in general is their marketing sucks. Their website is horrendous. I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody, but it's 2019. This website looks like it was developed in 2005. If a Windows user was browsing around looking for information on Linux and they heard about Mint Linux and they went to the site, I mean, come on. Honestly, I would say that Mint is probably the most underrated Linux distro out there. And I know that it's popular, like a lot of people use it, but not enough people talk about it. It's a solid distro and the developers should be proud about that and they should be talking about it. 
And that rounds up my top four Linux distros that I'm excited about. Now, I do have a few honorable mentions. I wrote an article on Medium for this video, so if you want to read more about my thoughts, you can hop over there. I've listed it in the comments below. But my runners up are Elementary OS because Juno came out last year and they've been getting some coverage on Forbes lately. Ubuntu because Canonical has been making patches back to GNOME and there's been some animosity there. Fedora because, well, IBM bought Red Hat and Fedora is a Red Hat project and I'm interested to see where that goes. And Manjaro because Manjaro continues to be really popular and they've announced some plans to release some new versions of their applications or whatever this year, so that should be fun. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. Seems like there's never a dull year in the world of Linux and 2019 is looking to be pretty darn exciting. And it goes without saying that there has never been a better time to be a Linux user. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, I'm partnered with Linode. You can sign up with them to get a $20 credit if you use my URL link, linode.com eg. I also have a Patreon you can check out. Either way, I appreciate all your support and thanks for watching.